Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TMM Podcast, on Halloween by the looks of things, um, with myself, the Mining Miner, Blader1266, and special guest this week, Mr. Tom5005, everybody. I will welcome them back, I think Tom went on a little trip, on a trip to the little man's room so he might not be here. Sound resumed. Problem is my sound is very quiet. I did introduce you, by the way, so you, you can speak. Oh. Wait a minute, do that again? I, I didn't need to check this. I didn't check the sound settings. There Hello. we go. Yep, everything's working fine. Yay! We've actually gotten off to a relatively smooth start. Um, well, while Tom's away, we might as well discuss what we've done this week. Alright, fair enough. What, what do you want to go first? Uh, nah, I'll let you go first. Alright, what I've done this week... Uh... Probably just download games. Yeah. Because you're bored in the net. And uh, just kind of out a bit. Like, I uh, met up with Sophie for after ages. So I yeah. just wanted to hang out a bit. Mm. Um, Monday, I did. That's what I did on then. Yes, I should really turn my sound down a bit because that's what's echoing through. All mine is um, just. I don't know what it's doing. And Wednesday was when I had to go to the doctor's. Alright, fair enough. Oh, I've got to go. Oh, I've just remembered I've got to go to the hospital next Wednesday. Yay! Seems Tom's not back from the little man's room yet. <laughs> Wonder how long just, that's going to take. Just stalling until he gets back. Because, I mean, we only had like 30 seconds. from. He's, he's taking forever, good lord. Uh, welcome to the TMM Podcast. We occasionally talk about the week's gaming and tech news. What? I'm back! There you are. No. Finally! Go with some Weetabix. Oh, oh no, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go to the toilet. Oh, I've got some Weetabix. The toilet doesn't taste like Weetabix. No, no, you said you would go to the toilet and you come back with bloody Weetabix. Because I was hungry. Fair enough. So, what are you being up to this week, Tom? Weetabix. Weetabix. Is that it? You just, <laughs> you've just been, you've just been sitting there eating Weetabix all week. Move to David, and then when you come back, I'll, I'll be finished my Weetabix. I've already said my. Yeah, he's already talked about his. Well, what I've done this week <laughs> is mostly sit around on my ass doing fuck all and shouting at two people in my college class because what we've done is um, we've got a real life sort of scenario <coughs> to fit out a system for a new. For, well, not for a new business, for a business. A new system for a business. And we trusted two people to go and get the information. Problem is, they are the two people in the class who are physically impossible to contact. Like, I literally just. They've had the information for about three weeks now. I literally just got into contact with one of them. Not both of them. One of them yesterday. Oh, the information. See, I was like, why couldn't you just tell us this like two two or three weeks ago? We, we really needed it then so we could actually get the work done. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, and also, uh, to Tom's delight, I have spent the last couple of days installing Windows 8.1. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have first. Weetabix, yeah, he's, he's got <laughs> Weetabix, he's got, his, he's got his Weetabix, so he doesn't care. Mm. Uh. Did you know? They'd make them square now. Square? Wait, what? Yeah, that's why they're in those not... sort of like it was like a rectangular shape, but it was like but it was rounded sides. Well. Yeah. Yeah. No, square now. What bummer! Because the win Windows yeah, 8.1 weird, is actually it? quite good. It's 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 a definite Ooh. speed boost. Mm. I will admit, and it's I like the new square lot. one, so they've done something. Mm. New recipe. I mean, they're not just—they're not just gonna give you a new it's, shape. It's oats. You can't really change oats. <laughs> well, they, they might have ads. Ads. They don't have adverts. They may have <laughs> added something. Nah, I've got ad blocker. They want. Nah, nah. What <laughs> oh, are you ad blocker now? <laughs> Wait, how recently did you get ad blocker? Because you were just sort of like, oh, I it's, yeah, <laughs> like on Saturday. I think it was on Saturday. You were like, oh, I've got ad block now. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's brilliant. I know I've had it for like months now. It's brilliant. Ah. Uh, so we're going back to the topic, so... Yeah, we might as well. Uh, first up, um, the Prior VR, which we discussed about five podcasts ago, which is like, what, seven weeks oh, ago? Oh, look at those, web, those, those lack of webcams. Yeah, we don't have the webcams on this week, because um, Tom didn't have his, and I couldn't be asked because I look like shit. Um, well, I always do, but I look even worse now. You, you take a shower. No, I did, take a, <laughs> I did take a shower beforehand, but I still look like crap. <laughs> It's not, it's not beauty on the outside that counts. Yeah, it's beauty on the inside, isn't it? That's why I need a camera yeah, with x-ray. <laughs> yeah. Alright, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Slap on the knee! <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, I discussed the <coughs> Prior VR a few podcasts ago, so I think it was number three, which is actually the most viewed 
one of the any of the videos on my YouTube channel, which is Two interesting. Views. No, no, it's got nearly a hundred. <laughs> I'll have you know. Oh, <laughs> nearly hundred. Nearly hundred. Yeah, I'll I'll get it up. So yeah, we're going off on a tangent again. Um, wait a minute. I always so, make anyway, off on a tangent. I know what you do. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, wait a minute. I'll have a look. Uh, TMM podcast 003. 89 views with four comments. So it's it's one of the more successful videos. Any whom, they unfortunately... Four didn't... comments. Three of which are yours. No, two of which are mine. <laughs> I know. I'll have you know. Any whom, <laughs> anyway, anyway, can I continue? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, um, it unfortunately did not reach its funding goal, so we'll, we'll probably not be seeing that, but they did post an update. I will, oh, oop, crap. There we go. Um, they're going to bring it back at some other point, but we don't know when. So, I mean, I really wanted to see this uh, succeed, but obviously I don't have the money to fund it. I can't. I kickstarted something, but um, oh, did you? it's like an it's it's not it's not a, a, a digital game. <coughs> it's it's a it's a, it's a card game. Oh, look at you kickstarting um, card games. Hang on, I'll I'll try and get it up. <laughs> card games um, on motorcycles. No, 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 we're not having card. Uh, <laughs> we're not having none of them card games <laughs> on them motorcycles, boyo. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna I've added a couple more stories, so I'm gonna remove a couple of them while he's looking for his link. Um, that could take a while. Yeah, I've got the link. Oh, you got the link? Right. Whoa! Whoa! He's got the link. Yeah, it's like it's the hop, skip, and a jump away. <laughs> no, no, oh, steam. Yeah, it's got to be difficult, don't you? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at this, shall we? See what um, Tom's been kickstarting. Since it's an actual like, oh, um... it's the bloody picture for the preview of the thing. It's loading. Well, it was loading really slowly. This looks interesting. It's, it's since it's like an actual <laughs> like um, like physical. real life physical card game. I don't actually have a brother to play it with. <laughs> I can't play it with anyone. Oh, have you not got friends? Yeah. Oh, wait. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sat there with that card game. I like the, I like the, I like the box for it. It's it's yeah, very... It's, it's I think that's one of the good. like the old Mario-esque kind of thing. Like I think it was the old cool. Mario box. Pretty one cool game. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting, and I like I like the style, personally. Very 8 and or 16-bitty. You can probably buy it if you go to their website. It's like it's like ten dollars or something ridiculously cheap. Ooh, that's We're quite. Just going out public, good. aren't we? I think that I paid are. fifty. I think I paid fifty dollars, <laughs> which included like fifteen dollar postage because you know how much postage is. Yeah, so that, that, was, add, that was like add twenty dollars to ship outside the US. Yeah, it was like it was so it was like thirty dollars for, for there there pledge fifty dollars on. Wait, Oops. Where, where, oh, where was? Where, um, history. <coughs> Which one was I'll it? tell you which one I I bought. It was mm. um, the... yeah, pledge forty dollars or more. That one. Forty dollars or the more. The extra life. Yeah. I Become I part of the boss monster design dollars. team. In addition to getting everything in the power of pledge pack, pledge level rather, you will be registered as, as the official play tester for Brotherwise Games. Most importantly, you will receive an advanced play tester copy of the first expansion, Tools of Heroic. That's pretty good. Wait a minute, expansion. Hmm. Yeah, they yeah, they're doing expansion. All right, it's starting to sound Basically, like. like that's interesting. So that is Basically boss monster, dork, like real dork. life. <laughs> so real life. Tell me when we're actually going to talk about the topic. <sighs> we we are. It's sort of on topic because it's about Kickstarter. Same Kickstarter. Yeah, 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 Kickstarter stuff. All right. So yeah, it didn't it didn't reach its funding goal, unfortunately. Next up, Oculus Rift. Motion sickness is supposedly solved. 4K is not far away. Why do you need 4K on this thing? I mean, 1080p will be sufficient. You don't need 4K on this. They were bored. Yeah, I think I think they were <laughs> certainly. Good lord. Um, <laughs> You'd so have to be to do that. A lot of changes like resolution. It's a big one <coughs> on the current dev kit. Eerie, very pixely. Huh? Okay, I think there might be something going wrong with um, Twitch and or. Wait a minute, I'm gonna have a look on Xplit. Oh right, all oh, right. I thought you meant the stream. No, it's the. Um, the Oculus Rift. Have you had a, had a go of it, Babrix? Because uh, it would be interesting to hear what it's like. Because I haven't actually tried it. I want to try it. Um, but they're hoping to get... Um, uh, oh my god. They've got seven... You were. Yeah. Um, they've currently got 720p in, but they're hoping to get a full HD screen in the final release. And they want... Um, <laughs> Babrix, Nightbot, and me. And me. 
<laughs> oh, I'm oh, I'm not logged in. No. Am I logged in? No, you're not. Well, oh. you haven't, I haven't appeared in the list. Anywho, um, so I really want to try the Oculus Rift, and hopefully they will be increasing the resolution, because suppose, from what I've heard, it is really pixelated at the moment. Ooh, Gamescom. Oh, yeah, you live in, he's German, so he would have been to Gamescom. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't have that kind of honest for things. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Nah, I can't just buy a plane. plane. You know, it requires like a yeah. like a piece of paper saying you can buy a plane. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can buy a plane. Harry said so. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a, just a, just a bit of bit of paper in written in horrible handwriting. I can buy a plane. <laughs> mum, mum said I could. <laughs> mum said I could fly a plane, Mister Pilot. And Wouldn't then... you be the pilot if you could fly a plane? No, 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 the actual pilot. You know, the qualified one. <laughs> the qualified one. <laughs> you know, the one that's actually um, competent. Yeah, it, it it's bound to be pretty good. Um, I mean, it from the, I think it was the Kickstarter video I watched <coughs> quite a while back, it's obviously got a bigger field of view than usual sort of um, VR stuff. And low latency head tracking should help a lot with um, the immersion factor of uh, games, especially. How are you talking about immersion? <laughs> Wait, yeah? What's wrong with that? <laughs> what's, what's Worms Revolution Gold? It's what, Worms what's, Revolution what's, with all the dulk. Yeah, but what's, <laughs> what's, all, what, what's the dulk? What do I get? I don't know. Have a look on Steam. <sighs> no, it requires effort. But, uh, no, yeah, mm. <laughs> Six dollars or more, what do you think I am made of money? You are actually, as a matter yeah, of I fact. Am, I, am, yeah, I am made of money, but... Uh, but, but still. You don't even like yeah, Worms, why still. are you even looking? And I don't know, because I've got nothing better to look at! Because you're not posting links and telling us what to look at. I've got- they're in the document, you nonce. I've lost it! How have you lost it? <laughs> no! Fine, I'll unlock the document and send you the link. I found it. Oh, there you go. And, uh, I even I added you to the allowed list. You just have to go into your Google Drive. Uh, Connor. Oh, oh it's right. It's, it's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Thursday. Oh, Connor. What? He's nicking one of my Pontius moments. How could he? That he is. I'm not um, Pontius. No, he's not Pontius. Yeah, <laughs> you're nicking it though. <sighs> Pontius. Um. <laughs> We're on to the part where he said mm. uh, Apple. I don't know whether to do the iPad event coverage because that's going to take forever, and Tom keeps knocking me off um, track. Oh well, we'll have I'll a. Give it. We'll have a basic. I, I a basic amount. You, I'm teaching you. Concentration, perseverance. If you can ignore me. <laughs> well, no, I don't want to well. ignore you because you're on the podcast, so I don't want to ignore okay, you. Get, get <laughs> sad and go cry in the corner. Aww, didums. I don't want to be ignored. Anyway, um, quick, quick roundup of what happened during the Apple event coverage. I sat through, I think it was 82 minutes long. Sat through that and My just God. made notes, and I realised something. Well, like, I knew sort of this in in the My first God, place. You gladiator. I know. They have their heads <laughs> shoved so far up their own asses. <laughs> just in the start. Hang on, hang on. And they keep bashing ah. Microsoft. What was that? Clap too hard. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Alright, anyway, f first, first things first. Uh, I was 10 Mavericks. Um, it has better battery life, obviously, for the um, the notebooks. Um, compressed memory was quite an interesting feature, I find, which can actually fit six gigs of data in four gigs of physical RAM, which I found. Oh, what is this madness? <laughs> I know yeah. this this um, this weird Mac black magic. I don't even How know. Works that? But the funny thing is, like I've got I've got 16 gigs in my computer. I don't need that because nothing uses up to 16 oh, gigs. Why do you need 16? You need like 10 is the max you need. Nah. That's like saying, oh, I've got then 64 it's... gigabytes of RAM. It's like, oh my god, give me money if you have that much. <laughs> <laughs> I could have got, well, no, I couldn't actually because my motherboard only supports 32. I would have gotten 32. <laughs> I would have gotten 32, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I know it's called compression, but he, d he doesn't. But this is sort of like real time compression. Eggy 18. Oh. Borix has got um, 24 gigs of RAM. That's a weird number. Anyway, um, <clears throat> in notification responding, so say if you get an email, you will be able to respond to it in the little bubbly thing, which is pointless on so many levels, considering my, well, my emails especially can be quite waffly. 
Uh, find the tabs, which means you can organize your files, not very interesting. Um, <coughs> iCloud Keychain, which syncs your passwords across all of your different devices, which could come in handy. Um, and then the biggest bombshell was that they're releasing it for free. I was like, what? Apple giving <laughs> away something? No way. <laughs> Ah, uh, six four gig modules. That's that's okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what got them into giving it away for free. I think it's because they're overpriced on everything else. That's why they're giving it away yeah. for free. Which gets me onto the new MacBook Pros. So they have the Haswell CPUs with the Iris graphics, which is pretty good. Uh, eighty two eleven AC Wi Fi, PCI Express based flash storage, which is essentially um, it's an SSD strapped to a PCI Express um connector. And it's running Mavericks out of the box. Starts at the 13 inch model, starts at $1,299. Yes, I would totally be buying that. Um, 15 inch one that's contains that's the. I didn't actually hear about this beforehand. It's um, <coughs> the Crystal Well CPU, which is the fourth generation quad core i7s, which is technically uh-huh. Haswell, but I don't know why they've called it Crystal Well. Um, you get in the 15 you get a, the Iris Pro graphics again, or you get a dedicated um, NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M. Up to eight hours of battery life, which is not all that bad considering this thing's spec to the gills. Um, again, PCIe based flash memory, 8211 AC Wi Fi, Thunderbolt 2, Mavericks out of the box. Start at a grand price of $1,999. Which is. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was wondering if Tom was still here. I was like, I haven't heard him in ages. Yeah, he's here. He's just sitting, <laughs> sitting in the background. He's probably browsing. He's probably playing. I know you're playing TF2. I'm right? doing the um. I'm doing the thing. Uh, the 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 um, He's doing the thing. Hard mode. I keep forgetting yeah, to put TF2. that on. There we go. All right. Oops. Oh, we'll just pop doing the up. thing, I'm gonna, Connor. I'm gonna minimize overwolf because that's gonna get in the way. Um, Mac Pro has a unified thermal core, which is essentially just a triangular section in the middle of the thing to um gather all of the heat from the components, which is interesting. An eighth of the size of the previous Mac Pro, which is tiny. Um, processor will be Xeon E5. You can either get it in 4, 6, 8, or 12 cores, which is overkill. Um, 1866 MHz DDR3 RAM, two AMD Fire Pro graphics chips, um, up to with up to 12 gigs of GDDR5 VRAM. Um, DDR5, you see? GDDR5. That's oh. pretty commonplace. Um, I got, I've got DDR3. Yeah, so have I. Um... It has HDMI 4.0 output, which supports 4K. Up to three 4K displays at that. Wow. <laughs> 802 11 AC and Bluetooth 4.0, starting at $3,000. And <laughs> I'm not made of money. <laughs> no, nor am I. Then we've got the apps section. The only real interesting thing that popped out for me in um, the apps section was GarageBand. And that actually has a... Um, garage band. Garage. Garage band. <laughs> And um, it actually has a virtual drummer now, which will actually yeah, sort of analyse the music and sort of get a beat along does with he, that. Does he, like, talk to you? No, he doesn't he talk to really you. Does comments on your, like, on your failing relationship? No, this is Apple. We can't, we can't expect them to have any sort of emotion whatsoever. <laughs> I my things. Dig, dig Shelby <laughs> Um. Alright. iPad section. This is one of the statistics I was talking about. They just waffle on about... Sp- Statistics all the time. They're like, oh, well, we've got 475,000 apps optimized for iPad. Shut up. Don't care. Well, and they got? announced well, I've the. Got, I've got 4,775 punches <laughs> optimized for your face. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow, whoa, whoa. All right. And then, oh, they, then they came up with a truly imaginative name for their new iPad, the iPad Air. So oh, imaginative. That's gonna be the iPad one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at shots fired eh? Casual uh, casual dig at Microsoft there. Eh? Oh. <laughs> so it has uh, the new A7 processor with the M7 motion coprocessor, up to eight times faster than the original iPad, up to seventy-two times faster in graphics than the original iPad. Um, MIMO Wi-Fi, multiple in, multiple out. Um, which only has 802.11n max. There isn't any AC in this one, which is interesting because it seems that Apple are actually pushing the, Why um, the 802.11 AC sombreros? standard. Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> fi- zombies. Why would they care about what they wear? Yeah, that's strange. Uh, dual mics, uh, 10 hour Yes. I was going to say, how long is the break? Because look at the time now. 
it's not it's half time, so half past will be the break. Got it. Um, it's always that. Why? Why do you have to ask now? Especially the when I'm, why I'm asking especially when I'm going to went through anything. Well, because I told you the Apple event coverage was going to take quite a bit. Um, but for some reason the selling the iPad two, not the not the late, well, not the like the previous generation iPad now technically, <laughs> they're still selling that yeah. at three hundred and ninety nine dollars when the new one is four hundred and ninety nine dollars. And one thing we didn't see on this one was um, Touch ID, which is the fingerprint sensor. Yeah. Which um, is strange, considering the leaks suggested that they did have the fingerprint sensor. <coughs> All right, onto the iPad Mini, which has basically the same sort of stuff, um, but with a Retina display now, which is Apple's marketing guff for. Ooh, look at us! We got a higher resolution display, and we're gonna make all of our Apple sheep say so, even though it's not that high resolution. This one is actually for a seven-inch screen. It's got um, a resolution of I think it's seven-inch. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Um, Resolution is 2048 by 1536. Yeah, what do you do then? I'll give you a good. I'll. I'll fucking spark you, mate. <laughs> I'll spark you, son. Um, this one's available. Uh, it starts at $399 with 16 gigs of storage and Wi Fi. And the original iPad mini is still available at $299, which is silly. Oh my god, I've run out. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. We've gotten through. Yeah, it's, I don't. I don't approve of Apple's marketing guff. Because it's just gubbins. Gubbins, yes. All right. Well, that was the Apple iPad event in a nutshell. I sat through eighty-two minutes to talk talk about it for about six minutes. <laughs> ah, I don't know why I bothered looking through the Apple events because they just bore me. All right then. Yeah, and we've just talked about some Apple stuff, so let's move on to some. Google slash Android stuff. Nexus 5 has been officially announced by Google with the um, Android 4.4 operating system, which looks actually quite good. I was, from what they were saying, which is that they're getting sort of rid of the sort of hollow standard, which is sort of like the black and blue. I like that, but this one actually looks surprisingly good. So we've got the Nexus 5. It looks like an amazing phone. I so want one. Um, the 16 gig model will be $349 and the 32 gig will be $399, which isn't all that bad, considering that Apple tend to um, get you to spend 100 extra dollars on a bit more storage, which is uh, stupid. So it's got a 4.95 inch 1080p screen, uh, 2300 milliamp hour battery, 8 megapixel camera. 8 megapixels, is that it? Okay. I'm fine with that. What was the old one? What? Wait, what? The old megapixels, what was it? I don't know. The Nexus 4. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't care. I've already got a phone. <laughs> yeah, so we've got an iPhone because you're a weirdo. What do you mean, weirdo? You're a weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> Swing digs. Um, anyway, uh, 1.3 megapixel. Mega, mega, mega That's the new term there. Megapixel. Um, 1.3 megapixel. Front facing camera. Uh, Snapdragon 800, which is pretty good. I think that's quad core. Adrenaline 330 graphics, yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy's got Bill's hat! <laughs> I'm gonna move fancy schmancy Bill's hat. So, yeah, that looks quite good. And then, obviously, you can see um, Android 4.4 KitKat running on it. And obviously, things like the home button look different in comparison. Actually, I think I can show you. I don't. Okay, that's opening up. God damn it, Windows said, shut up. Um, let's, I'm going to have to try and find um, the app that I use to show my phone. This isn't exactly seamless, but ooh well. Mm. Alrighty then. So this phone is running 4.2. I will have to load up the... Uh, David, do you want to talk about something while we're waiting for me to load up the app? What? <laughs> Are you not paying attention? Am I going to do all the talking here? Eh? No, it's in my own little world life of the party. Yeah. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> uh, screen reading. I'm finding it hard to do like two things at once here. <laughs> there we go. I was um, wondering when my opinion was going to be needed. <laughs> It's always needed. Oh, it's God damn it! <laughs> minute, I'm gonna scoot that on over to the other screen because it's causing issues. There we go. Um, I could talk about my um, 
topic. The one yeah. that I put well, in. Well, I've got it up now. Anyway, this is the app that I use, so I'll close that. So this is uh, Android 4.2. I would have been running 4.3, but I can't get it, the ROM to run correctly. So as you can see, things like the home button have changed. I mean, it's small things. So if you look at the status bar up at the top here, you can see, oops, don't want to touch it. Um, you've got the blue, oh, said. blue and... <sighs> oh. You've got the blue and black sort of colouring there. As opposed to with the um, <coughs> update, which has white text, and it seems to be a transparent notification bar, which is interesting. And um, by the way, I think Bob Ricks is calling you a hipster because you've got an iPhone. <laughs> Who is? The viewer. The viewer. <laughs> oh, don't be, I've got no don't response. Be doing, don't be doing no showing off, boyo. I've got no response to that. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, let's just leave that. So, I mean, there's... Little things. I don't think it shows you the apps draw on this one actually. And you obviously get your new uh, abstract background. I think with I don't I can't get the one for this. Um, actually, I should really take my email off the. I should really take everything off the page. Good lord. I should probably take my credit card details off the page. It's I don't have a widget with my credit card details. I should. God damn it! There's no widgets on here where I can just kind of there. Fine, you can see the weather here and you can see me Tumblr. That's fine. Anyway, so we've got classic old live wallpapers. Huh? I'm going off on a tangent. No, 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 I wasn't calling you an iPhone owner. I was saying that you were calling Tom an iPhone owner. Well, a hipster. And I, I ain't no hipster. <laughs> Maybe you are. No, you're not. You wouldn't, you wouldn't suit being a hipster. Alright, anyway, so that's basically what it looks like. Um, new camera app and all that good stuff. Um, I think that's it, really, with regards to that. And you obviously get official Google cases now, which look like absolute, complete and utter horse shit. Those cases are actually look horrible. I didn't know this. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anywho, let's turn that off. I don't like. I don't like, I don't like the ones they do. Mm. Well, you don't. You don't like. Uh, you don't like Android, do you? Nah. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, exactly. Well, like iPhone owner, hipster. Where's the difference? Alright, anyway, we are going to take the obligatory um, half-time break now, which will be about three minutes long-ish. Uh, I need to find TeamSpeak because I need to mute that once I... Where the hell did it go? Ah, uh, welcome go to the like team. go for a power shit three minutes. Yep, go <laughs> for one of them high-speed shits. Right. It's got to be quick. Yep, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm on a race against time. I should really change that back to that so you're not seeing me TeamSpeak and everything. Uh, righty then, I'll mute TeamSpeak. Sound muted. There we go. Uh, so we will, um, be back after the break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the TMM Podcast from myself, the Mining Miner, Blair Toss 66, and guest Tom5005. I will unmute TeamSpeak so they can start talking again. Sound resumed. Gentlemen. Hey. Mental gen. <laughs> there we go. Everybody's here this time. Tom hasn't rushed off to get more, <laughs> get more Weetabix. Oh... Oh, swing digs. Um, uh, Any whom. So, we are back and we are... I've been editing out some ready stories. Ready to rock and or roll. Oh, rock and or roll. Can't be doing both. That's nah, 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 nah. Stupid. Rock or roll. We c doing both? Are you mad? That's, 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 that's suicide. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Never attempted before. <laughs> what are you doing, man? I'm about rock to rock and roll. What? How could you I do such a thing? I'm that's suicide! You <laughs> <laughs> should voice act. That you should, that would, that would be quite good. Um, okay, anyway, one of the more light-hearted stories of the week. Dell users complain that their Latitude 64... Because rocking and rolling is absolute certain death. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is? Did you not know? Have you not seen in the you news... You don't know! Have you not seen in the news how many people have died from rocking and rolling? <laughs> rocking... <laughs> Cause of death, possible rocking and rolling. <laughs> then the room just falls silent, and everybody's just like, mm, "We rock, we rock and roll." <laughs> didn't stand a chance. <laughs> didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Anywho, um, <coughs> next story of the week: uh, Dell users are complaining that their Latitude 6430U laptops smell of cat urine. <laughs> Of course, of course, course, that's the problem. Of course. Could say Dell already taking the piss now. <laughs> Didn't you do this this joke for the the podcast? I did. We well, had to do it during the podcast for really the continuity sake. No, not on news. But people watching might get it. If you didn't, right now you're going like, oh. <laughs> 
Oh well. Do not. You've ruined it for me. All right. Whatever. Um, so they've ruled out biological contam- contamination, i.e. cats actually pissing on the laptops. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's pretty much certain. Who, who's a genius who brought that pet into the factory? <laughs> <laughs> There's just one guy in the corner like, oh, no, Brian, no, no, no. Brian, did you bring your cat into the factory? People are complaining the laptops <laughs> smell like cat piss. Brian. Actually, it probably wouldn't be Brian. It would probably be insert Asian name here. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> no. Um, um, Hoji. 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 Hoshi. Hoshi. Hoji. Hoshi. Hoshi. Hoji. Oh, uh. I will take the bullet on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Hoshi, did you bring the cat in? Yes. <laughs> She's a bird. Oh. <laughs> Tom is a Hoshi, Hoshi, she's a man responsibility. <laughs> Tom is our um, resident Asian. Sad, sad Asian man. <laughs> sad Asian man. Um, but supposedly it is the um, plastic that they've used for the palm rests on these laptops which is causing the smell. <laughs> How do you Could get plastic s- that smells like cat piss? I don't know. <laughs> Dell of man. Don't put it past Dell. They can do anything. <laughs> They can, Anything they can, can do, they, they can take my laptop for repairs three times and still bring it back broken. They can do this. <laughs> oh, I, I don't, I don't happens. believe in laptops. I have a laptop just for the sake of if I need to do work anywhere else except at my desk, then I'll do it. But mostly I'll just I be on my in desktop. The of laptops. Do you not? Are you a um a lap a lapthist? What the hell? I don't know. <laughs> lapthist. Wouldn't that be like a laptop atheist like... per se? Would... I've confused him. Mm. Yes, Jeeves. <laughs> <with a lock. laughs> I have to think about this. One. Think. Don't hurt yourself. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they've um they've changed it though. So if you order that specific um model of laptop now, even though Tom doesn't believe in them, um you will not have the issue, and people are getting the palm rest replaced to hopefully mitigate the problem. Which is, uh, well, all's well that ends well unless um, it's Dell, where uh, nothing ends well. Ever. Well, saying that, I've got a Dell now and it works fine. I think I've turned the volume right down. Are you guys actually talking or are you just giving me the silent I am. Okay, I, I think I turned my volume right down on my headset. Whoops. Alright, any whom. <coughs> so, yeah. Laptop smell of uh, cat piss, that's always good. A laptist! Yeah. Wait, did you already say that? Laptheist, I said. I said, I said <laughs> laptist. It's like a cultist but a laptop, so it's laptist. Okay, we'll have laptist then. <laughs> I won that on Urban Dictionary by the night. That took me a while. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you were silent? Yeah. Just like, who <laughs> oh, no, gotta think of a word for this? I don't, don't know what it is. Yeah, like, uh, hmm. Stroking the beard, Asians can't grow. <laughs> Alrighty. This one's a weird story. I haven't actually looked at this one yet, but it's one that um, Blair 266 put on the um, on the list. It's um, LG unveils G Flex curved smartphone. That's normal, but with self healing case. I honestly haven't had a look at this. I know. I I was confused. Self healing case. It doesn't. Does it, it like it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Smart of time, it, so do, it doesn't. Make like a TV show. But it, it doesn't. Call it like case who. <laughs> <sighs> that, was, that was a horrible it joke. Back. Wasn't a joke. I was just. I, I, See, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. I've just, I've just realised something. Not damn too young, Dad. I've just realised something. Isn't that Explorer's been pinned to my taskbar? <laughs> I've just, I've just, I've just gotten rid of the beast. Alrighty. Um. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, same old, same old specs. 720p display. Um. Snapdragon 800. Meh. And then this healing case. I, I'm trying to have a look. Wow. I've just looked down here. LG explains that the curved design enhances voice and sound quality when making calls by bringing the microphone closer to a user's face. Provides an IMAX-like experience. No, it doesn't because it's a phone. It's tiny. <laughs> IMAX, you need a big screen. Really, I can't really tell the difference between IMAX and regular. Neither can I. Mainly because I'm too cheap the only, the IMAX. <laughs> the only difference is the size of the screen is slightly curved and it's a bit bigger. Huh? And it's three does. Oh, <laughs> oh Lewis with his 3D monitor. Lewis with his... I swear he... He never uses the 3D. And I'm not surprised. Because <laughs> 3D is nothing but a novelty. 
Um, it doesn't actually have anything on here. Oh, there we go. The Jinflex also features a self-healing coating on the rear case, which the company states has the ability to recover from the daily wear and tear scratches and nicks. Why don't they put that on the front? We need it on the front yeah. more than we need it on the back. Yeah. I mean, the back can be scratched like hell. I mean, the back of my phone is scratched to all hell. I got a case, mine. And well. the the I've got a well, I've got a flip cover for mine, so it protects the screen but oh. not the back. Actually, I'll, I'll, oh, no, mine no. protects everything but screen. Oh. Well, that's pointless. My, <laughs> I, 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 no, but mine is like mine is basic. My phone is not a concrete brick because this case. I can <laughs> drop this. I can throw this at the ground and it'll just bounce in back into my. Yeah, hand. but it's still got nothing on the Nokia 3310. I think oh. one thing I noticed though is that my dad still has the, <laughs> his old no Nokia. Nokia. <laughs> no <laughs> Nokia. <laughs> so yeah, we need that technology on the display, not on the. No, my no, Babrix, my. Dan has an, an old Nokia that he just didn't get rid of for some reason. Um, I don't. I've got a Galaxy S3, which was what I was demonstrating on before. Um, it's got a big battery, though, especially for a curved display sp smartphone. It's got a um, 3,500 milliamp hour battery, which is interesting. All right, we're just blasting through these stories now because we haven't got all that long left. Um, the Prepare your wallets, everybody. The Steam Halloween sale is upon us. And yeah, there you know, is a. It's Halloween. I know. <laughs> it's it's to be expected. It's Steam sales ev for everyone. Well, it's not really. Yeah, I bought like, sales out like, of the wazoo. Like people games, and by people I mean like one person. <laughs> Mine was part of the weekly sale, even, so it doesn't wasn't count. Wasn't even in the Halloween sale. It was just sort of on sale because <laughs> it was a weekly sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got interesting games in here. We've got things like Dead Rising 2, The Walking Dead, somewhere. I really want to get that. For some reason, Monaco's in this. Monaco is not really a um. Halloweeny game. But it's weird though, isn't it? It's weird, yeah. Played through that with um, another streamer. I think it was last week. Yeah, it was. Uh, Lucius, that's quite a good game. Um, I haven't played right the way through it, but I hope to at some point. Uh, Guncraft, which is supposedly worse than Ace of Spades, which means um, Tom will absolutely My love God, it. My God, there's nothing worse than Ace of Spades. Go shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't see like 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 James, like my friend, my my, my black friend James. I got Ace of Spades. Black no, James. Like James. I went, James, it's crap. Don't get it. So he gets it. <laughs> oh, right. So then, then he gets, then he goes gets Guncraft, and he's like, oh, well, shit. I'm like, yeah. It's, it's exactly the same. Reviews, said it's worse than, oh. <laughs> anyway. I don't know why he does it. Well, also got things I, like, I don't know why. Mm, oh, hello, James. Nice of you to join us. James, that James, Brody Beely. Is it, is it Brody Beely. Brody Beely. <laughs> We've got things like Devil May Cry, Costume Quest, um, oh Alice God. Madness Returns. James, be, James, stop messaging me about things I say. <laughs> Is he doing that now? He's going, oh, Black James Guncraft. He's doing that thing like, I, I shit thee not. <laughs> <laughs> like, in, Indian, <laughs> well, I can't say cause the other one because it's racist. <laughs> 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 Just uh, not going to say that, it's uh, a bit racist. Uh, Alright, got Wolf Among Us, which is actually quite... Looks quite good. It's only 10% uh, off. Uh, yeah, James, you don't need to message me the word. <laughs> <laughs> Natural Selection 2. Um, <laughs> Gotham Imposters free to play DLC, which originally costs 23 quid. What? 23 pounds yeah, for a bit of DLC? No. Um, Brutal Legend, no. which is. Now he's, into, <laughs> now he's giving me the individual letters. <laughs> Oh, I didn't notice that one. Hot, hot, Hotline Miami is £3.49. That's not bad. Uh, Penumbra. Yeah, Hotline pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Mutant Blobs Attack. Uh, Infestation Survivor Stories. Yes, of course I'm going to get that piece of shit. So that was the War Z before, and that was awful. And this is exactly the same game, so... <sighs> God, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. Bioshock Franchise Pack. Darksiders 2. There is Bioshock's it. pretty good. Yeah... I just I just like the underwater ones. I didn't like any of the other ones. <laughs> uh, they bleed pixels. Um, <laughs> Joe Danger Bundle. How is that Halloweeny at all? Um, yeah, and then and then obviously the obligatory amnesia is on the list. Outlast. Hello. No, thank you. So yeah, Halloween sale. Um, it's not as bad as most of the other sales where it's different sales every day. Like, oh, I need to buy that. No, I need to buy this. And then you. Mm. I mean, I had like. For the summer sale, I had like 100 quid and I I wasn't allowed to spend it. I spent it anyway. <laughs> the All of you, bad boy. Gaben was um, tempting me. And it was, uh, it was scary. 
All right, next story. Um, Blair Tour 66 has actually had some experience with yes, the yes, Xbox yes, One. Magic is 199. We, we know this. Oh, it's my time to shine. It's your time to shine, yeah. So what was your uh -huh. experience with the Xbox One? All right. Um, I went down <laughs> in Newcastle on Sunday, right? You don't have to um, specify where it was, just yeah, how it I'm was. Just where it was. Hang on, James. I'll, um, uh, I'll speak on your behalf. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll just wait till Tom finishes. Yes. He's done. I'm not here. I'm not here. Uh, all right. Anyway. Ignore me. Um, Fine. If he's if he's not here, we'll have that screen on then. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what happened was um, I wanted to see how it like worked and everything. Uh -huh. If it was like the same. Yeah, well, it wouldn't um, have been the same. No, I mean, so considering the Xbox everything. is like ten years old. I'm just in the controller or something. Anyway. Right. Um, <coughs> looking at it, yep. the About. picture is a lot more better. Yeah. Well, it will be. It's. 1080p and natively. It's like made it more interactive than it was with the 360. Games, obviously, games mm. I'll ask after this. Um, talk, with the <laughs> Xbox uh, One controller, if you want to ask, just it's a bit retarded. How? To be honest, because uh, the triggers are like fat as hell. <coughs> uh huh. Which is pointless. Yes. Uh, the X symbol does now. Mm. Actually, I think that's got a <laughs> IR light in it or something like that. The, it does. Yeah, to sort of interact with the connect. Uh, James, you can get magic if you like. I'm not first. I'm, oh, I'm probably not. Kit. I'm probably not. No, I'm talking to James. I'm saying I did. Well, uh, I don't. I probably won't be playing it again because I've played it through twice already. Yeah, but yeah, but <laughs> we could do the Dungeons the and Demons over Halloween. Is going to be like do it cheap. It's gonna be like, 10 pence. Oh. Uh, anyway, they, they, uh, they pay you money to So you basically, to I got to try out uh, two different games. Uh huh. Which ones? Uh, uh, one of them <coughs> I wasn't first with. One was FIFA. <sighs> See why I didn't want that one. And the other was Forza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was the other one? Oh, racing. Forza. Forza. Oh, yeah, Forza's quite good. I oh, played I Forza. Like it had great quality. It was like, um, how to describe it? I don't know, but... Do you, do you know um that car game that we've got on here? <laughs> Me and you. Uh, which one? Burnout. Burnout. Yeah. Burnout it's Paradise like that, Ultimate Edition. Better. Yeah, it's bound to be. Because it's... I swear, actually, how old is Burnout Paradise? Um, Burnout Paradise. There you are. And it's by EA, so it's instantly going to be and slightly the worse. Oh, yeah, the same. Oh. Like the compatible with the... <coughs> how to move everything. It's basically the same. Yes. Uh, no, James, ma not Magic, um, Burnout Paradise is not 24 years old. 2009, <laughs> so that's four years old. You're, you're 20 years off there, matey. Owned. Yes, quite. Um, also, so yeah, it's obviously uh, going to look better considering that's, it's four years, Burnout Paradise is four years old. Also, do you know the, like, I can't, I don't know how to go, what, uh, how to word it. <laughs> do you know, like, the stick things? The, the analog sticks, yes. The that's analog it. sticks. Anyway, uh, they're all a lot more thinner than hmm. the, the ones on the 360. Which oh, I, I liked them chunky. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> quite nice chunky. The thing is, the thinner one is a lot harder to use. Yes. But I found it because like, I was using it, I was like, it's it's not bloody responding to anything I do. Were you moving it around? Because chances are, if you're not moving Did it around, there's your problem. This? <laughs> was the Was there suddenly like, like a weird sort of creature popping out the Xbox for no reason whatsoever. No, it's the that, um, the thing is when I was trying like, to Hebrew. drive around a corner, <laughs> uh -huh. it was like being unresponsive. Yeah, then, like, that's me, strange. Anything. Supposedly the um the grips on the thumbsticks are horrible. What did you think of they them? They are. Yeah. They're very horrible. Yeah, it looks strange. And supposedly it's... um, uh, Yeah, James, you can buy... Actually, if you can... No, I was just thinking if you can get Left 4 Dead 2 for tonight, we're doing a Halloween stream... Um, at about yeah, half past ten. No, of course not. Um, Halloween spooktacular. Oh, oh but that's oh. spooktacular. Yeah, because that, that's totally original. <laughs> like, like this one guy sitting at his desk and he's like, "What can we call the Halloween the Halloween podcast?" <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> ha Halloween is spooky. Yeah. It's gonna be spectacular. Mm. The Halloween spooky spectacular show. Oh, <laughs> he's just like he's like he's just sitting there like, oh, I'm a genius. And the guy next to him's like, oh. <sighs> Craig, that's not the thing at all. One job. Craig, it's <laughs> called Keith. Keith. Oh, oh, it's Keith. Okay, Keith's even worse. I mean, I was going for Craig, but Keith's even worse. 
<sighs> anyway, um, so is that all you've got to say on the Xbox One? Did you actually get to try out the Kinect? Hello? Uh, the Kinect there you go. I have working? tried the Kinect. It had like a malfunction. Oh, oh, how convenient. Uh, oh, Microsoft. Wanna just talk about how I tried the Kinect? Is this, is this the first generation Kinect you've tried? Or is it the second no. one? Well, both. Alright, well what do you think? Um, it's it's better. It's be yeah. Like, considering the first one was like... Yeah, considering the first one you need to have a house the size of the Royal Albert Hall to use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if it's too big it's like... Please, like, cannot, cannot, like, detect any use. It's like, I'm right here. I'm right <laughs> you, do, you just sort of wave in your arms vigorously in front of it. I'm here! Where, where? Who's that? The room. It goes like, it goes like, whoa! <laughs> <It's, it's, laughs> <laughs> what is he doing here? What's he doing? <laughs> and you have to, like, reset it. And you go, oh. <laughs> your game just goes, bang! Dead. And then if okay. it, it's like, uh, oh, you can play in this place if you want to be single player. And then if you have two people, it's like, whoa! That doesn't look yeah. like a person at all, and then you, your avatar just kind of spazzes out. So yeah, it's supposedly got a wider angle lens, so it's much more. You need a um, you, people with Except. people people with what's known as a normal house will be able to use it, <laughs> not a mansion. <laughs> nah, just classic house stuff these days. All uh, right, um, are we gonna head off from that topic then and drift into the next one? Good which enough. is whatever, whatever which floats is, your float. <clears throat> I'm only making not sense. <laughs> God, it's getting all like weird. I'm only so, making not sense. Sorry about that. My um, sister's going off in a huff because she can't wait ten minutes for me to print something off because she doesn't know how. Don't know how you know how to print. print. She doesn't know how to. No, Jane. is an ancient. <laughs> all right. Like, oh. <laughs> it's because she's a prat and she lost her bus pass, so she's got to print out a new form to get one. All right. Dumbass. Anyway, uh, Apple files for falling phone protection patent. Now this is fine. Um, at first we were talking about, oh yeah, it'll be a little motor in that'll rotate the phone so it lands on its side rather than on the glass, which would probably um, save it from smashing too badly. But then further down, where was it? Let's see if we can find it. Um. The patent goes into some fanat fanatical solutions such as fans or jet propulsion to soften the landing. <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, well, that's that's not usually the Apple's like, Oh, we're just going to stick jet engines on the phone, yay! <laughs> why? What's the point? Well, Because why not? They have the money. They do, and if you're buying an Apple device, you might actually get your money. Oh no, they'll probably make you spend an extra grand. Ah, uh, the um, the protection system comes separate to fit jet engines to your phone. You have to pay an extra five grand or something. <laughs> Cause Apple. Your first unborn child. <laughs> first, um, that's going to be a bit of a problem. <laughs> Reach in there, get that for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just reach in, just. No, I don't even want to imagine that. Don't make me imagine things. I'm not. You You are. No, you, you mentioned it. <laughs> you were the one that fucked up, boyo. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's actually a good system if it can be implemented correctly. So, My like, God, we've got another viewer. Oh, it's James B. Lee. It's, B, it's that bloody B. Lee. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you idiot. He's been talking in the chat for Christ knows how long. Talking about... Cue the message. Talking, uh, talking about whatever, whatever goats you floating boat. That, like, I was, I said, oh, it's Billy. In my head, I went, right, he's gonna mess with me. <laughs> oh, there's Billy. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie me. Imp why is the impact surface like, like, shredded jelly? I don't know. It's <laughs> they're not exactly graphics designers. I don't think. Vulnerable. <laughs> like, vulnerable. Like, vulnerable. And so I was like, no, don't. <laughs> the ground's like ah, and punches. The <laughs> just, 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 just like shoot a fireball at the phone as soon as it's within sort of. If it if it lands face down, it just gets shot up into the air again. <laughs> you just boom, and then you just see your phone fly about fifty meters up. <laughs> no, it's not safe. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I accident. Well, I didn't accidentally. I, I censored lol in the chat because of um, League of Legends. And then I realised it's not case sensitive, so every every oh, time, meat! every meat! time, every time somebody goes lol in the chat, it's censored. And um, James bailey has been a big Bailey B. Wilson, so we're gonna get on with this. Um, actually, we've, this gift? we've blitzed 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 through these topics like I didn't know what. 
So we're on to the um, the final. What is this Halloween gift? I don't know. We're on to the final topic of the week, which is as usual our well, my technically uh, crowdfunding campaign of the week, which is the If Portable, which actually looks really good. I I really want one of these. Um, what it is is basically a mobile phone, a tablet, and a laptop in one. So I will okay. switch that over. Um, <coughs> that's what it looks like, basically. It's like a it's like a dual screen laptop. I guess when it's in the laptop form, which actually looks really good, and I I don't want one of those, but it doesn't it doesn't look like it runs Windows, so I'm not happy with that, and it's eight hundred dollars, which I'm also not happy about. Um, <coughs> so yeah, this actually looks really interesting, and if you would indulge me, I'm going to put the um trailer on, but first I've got to align it. These live production methods are absolutely weird, brilliant. What? Oh. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna mute TeamSpeak again because I need to get this played. All right. <laughs> let's find the team speaking, shall we? That's the server. I don't want that. All right. Let's mute that. Sound muted. There we go. Well, David's muted his mic anyway. But oh well. So this is the trailer for the If Convertible. Enjoy. We are very excited to introduce to you a project that has been in development for a few years now. It all started with a simple question, what if? What if your smartphone was smarter? What if your smartphone wasn't just smarter? What if it was more than a phone? What if your tablet was more than a tablet? And your laptop? What if it was more than a laptop? What if you didn't have to sacrifice function for mobility? What if you had everything you needed at your fingertips and instead of more devices, you had more freedom? What if there was one device that worked lived and played the same way you do what if that simple question was applied to the various mobile computing communication and information devices that we use daily we looked at our laptops our tablets and our smartphones and asked what if instead of three more devices there was one simple powerful flexible mobile platform that could do everything we needed it to do what if we could combine the benefits of a smartphone tablet, dual display laptop, and multiplayer gaming system all into one transforming, compact, and powerful device. Something that provides all the functionality and performance that you need, yet fits in the palm of your hand. And what if this one device costs significantly less than buying all those other devices separately? That one dynamic device would change the future of mobile computing. I am proud to announce that we've turned all of those what-ifs into something very special. Proudly made in the USA. With the IF Convertible, the future is now in your hands. Our exclusive dual display technology lets you increase your productivity exponentially so you can work, play, and communicate like never before. With its versatile design, the IF Convertible is great for handheld talk or use the high-quality built-in Bluetooth headset for crystal-clear conversations on the go. Mobile conferencing will never be the same. All of this in one device that travels smaller and lighter than an Ultrabook. Now everyone can get the IF that meets their needs. Contributors can choose from several packages, from colors to finishes to price points. Welcome to the ideal future. Thanks for taking the time to watch the first glimpse of the IF Convertible. We believe that this product could revolutionize mobile computing as we know it. And we've only scratched the surface of how people will soon be using this device to work, play, and communicate. We hope that the potential of the IF has your imagination stirring. Our patents are secured and manufacturing will begin soon. But in the meantime, we want to know what you think. We want to hear your suggestions about how we can make the IF Convertible the ultimate mobile device. We invite you to post comments down below and share your thoughts with our team. You can also check out our website for additional information at idealfuture.com. We want you to be our partners in this endeavor, and there are several ways listed right here for you to join us to help bring the IF to the world. The IF Convertible features dual displays for double the screen real estate, double the resolution, dual batteries, dual LTE antennas, dual operating systems, double the storage, double the power, and twice the RAM, running a single data plan, all in one device, instead of three. 
Finally, mobile means more, not less. No matter where you are, no matter where you're going, no matter what you want to do, if convertible has what you need, when you need it. Think of it as the Swiss Army knife of computing devices. With the IF Convertible, you can now truly multitask. Forget working hard and playing hard. It's time to work and play smarter. It's time for the IF Convertible. Thank you for watching. And remember to never stop asking, what if? So yeah, that was the trailer for the if convertible um, laptop, tablet, and phone, I guess. Sounds and that cool. obviously ran over the um, time for the podcast. So I'll make this quick. I'm just gonna say that looks so cool, and I really want one. Um, so yeah, that is all of the stuff we really have to cover for this week, and that's all the time we have, I'm afraid. So from myself, um, if David is David actually still there? He's got his mic muted. Anybody there? I think I've been left on my own. No, I'm here. Oh, you're here. Would you like it's to say... Blah, 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 all the time we have. Yeah, it's all... Myself. Um, so would you like to say goodbye? Um, what do you mean? Say goodbye or... or uh, what do you mean, say goodbye? Like, well, it's... Gone? Forever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's gonna... It's the end of the podcast, so we're gonna leave now. But um, for those watching, I I leave right. <laughs> for those watching live, we will be uh, taking a half an hour break ish, and uh, we will be doing the Halloween spooktacular. Half an hour. <laughs> half an hour. So it goes. We're gonna be back at around half past ten GMT, which is in about twenty nine minutes. Greenwich Mean Time. Greenwich Mean Time. Not in that British summertime bullshit anymore. Alright, anyway, um, I will say goodbye on Player Toss 66's part because he's um, been a big Bailey B. Belson. So, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. See you later.